il partitivo e gli aggettivi di quantità. Today we will talk about the partitive and the adjectives of quantity. A partitive describes an unspecified quantity of something. Uh, for example, if I say that I have two ounces of flour, that's very precise, very specific. But if I, if I say I have some flour, that's really not very specific. I don't really know what the quantity is. And that's what partitive is. It just describes a certain quantity of, approximate quantity. In order to be able to determine which, uh, which partitivo I will use, I have to distinguish between countable and uncountable nouns. Let's take a look at both categories. Countable nouns are those nouns that I can count by the piece. For example, here I have books, so I can say one book, two books, three books. Um, I can count people, I can count apples and strawberries and uh, a whole bunch of food items. I can actually count many, many, many nouns by the piece. However, non-countable nouns are those that I cannot count by the piece, such as liquids and powders and similar bulk items. Um, those would be nouns like flour and sugar and salt and pepper, or liquids, water, milk, beer, wine. Now keep in mind here, though, that I am able to count teaspoons of sugar and tablespoons of flour and bottles of beer and glasses of water. So if that is my context, those are countable, but uh, liquids as such or powders as such are not countable. So which partitives can I use with these? With all of these nouns, both countable and non-countable, I can use D plus article. And this, of course, will depend on the noun I'm using and the article that that noun requires. So, for example, if I'm talking about il latte, the partitive will be del latte, because del is com comprised of D plus il. If I'm talking about le mele, it's going to be delle mele. If I talk about gli amici, it's going to be degli amici, and so on. For countable nouns, I have a couple of more options. I have qualche or alcuni, alcune. They mean exactly the same thing. They mean uh, some or a few. However, the difference between these two is purely grammatical. Qualche is singular and requires a singular noun to accompany, and alcuni, masculine, alcune, feminine, is plural and it requires a plural noun. These cannot be used with non-countable nouns. I can also use un po' di, a little bit of, with both countable and uncountable. Let's take a look at some examples. If I have the absolute freedom of expression to say whatever I want, I have many options. For example, let's say that I want to say, I see some students, or I see a few students. I can say, io vedo qualche studente. If I decide to use qualche, I have to use studente, which is singular, because qualche requires singular. But I can also say, io vedo alcuni studenti, plural, alcuni studenti. Or I can say, io vedo degli studenti. Or I can even say, io vedo un po' di studenti. So if I have the freedom to express myself, I have many, many options. However, if I'm given a context, then I have to carefully consider my nouns. In this case, I have io compro blank mela and blank latte. Mela is. I have to know what these mean to de determine whether they're countable or uncountable. Mela is an apple and it's singular. Latte is a bulk noun or a liquid. It's uncountable and it's singular masculine. So these are my options. I have to say io compro qualche mela, qualche singular, mela singular, e del latte or un po' di latte. With latte I have two options. Let's look at some adjectives of quantity. They also denote a certain quantity that's not terribly precise, but it gives us a good idea. Molto tanto are practically synonymous. They just mean a lot of or many. Also, we have troppo, too many. Look at this guy buried under the books, too many books. Or poco, uh, meaning a few. And so these are all adjectives. So keep in mind that they have to uh, agree in number and gender with the noun that they accompany. So they're going to have different forms. It can be molto, molta, molti, molte. And this goes for all of them. Remember that poco, when it changes to pochi, has to be spelled with an H. Pochi. And then poca, poche, poche also has to be spelled with an H. And then I have a couple of more options. Ogni, meaning each or every, is singular. It accompanies only singular nouns. And then tutto, meaning all, so encompasses everything, all. Uh, tutto can have four forms. Tutto, tutta, tutti, tutte. It always has to be accompanied by a definite article. So I will say tutto il giorno, tutta la sera, tutti i ragazzi, tutte le studentesse. If you have questions following this narrated presentation, 
please email me.